Hey, fellow buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I did my what sold tonight and it got me thinking about an item that I could do a category bolo video on that I think is kind of an item that gets overlooked. And it is more of a long tail item, but it can be, like I said, an item that's overlooked and an item that can be easier to find sometimes. Like you can probably find it at an estate sale, oftentimes maybe at a garage sale, just kind of scattered on a table and you probably just miss it because your eyes just kind of float over it, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. And um, it could be an item that you sit on for a while and it has to wait on the right buyer. So this may or may not be something that you're interested in sourcing. Um, I shared a big lot of these items that I picked up at a garage sale in 2019. And the only reason I remember that is because I shared it in a thrift battle on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel back in 2019. It was, what was it, October? I think it was October of 2019. I went up against Donatella Bottolino and I bought all of these hair accessories. They were vintage. And I will tell you, I ended up doing awesome with those. Now, I listed them in small bundles and some of them just flew out of my store, flew. And um, I actually just shipped out some that sold, uh, I think they sold today and I shipped them tonight that took what, a year and a half to sell. But I will tell you, this was a lot of, I think 40 some, and they were just kind of a hodgepodge of the ones that really didn't have any clear um, definition of, oh, these should go with these. They were just a hodgepodge. So I really didn't expect them to sell fast. I just lotted them together. It may even be like a crafter's lot, like somebody's going to take them apart and do crafts with them. I'm not really sure. They weren't anything special. Let's put it that way. So I was happy to see them go. Um, but anyway, Let's get into some items that I pulled off of eBay that have sold that you can be on the lookout for, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, let's get started here. I kind of went off on a little tangent there. Um, these are also, some of these items could show up in jewelry lots, and you're going to see why. The first item is an example of something that you could end up finding, like if you are on Shop Goodwill or if you get um, lots of jewelry, sometimes like they'll have them at thrift stores and stuff where you can buy them in bundles. You could end up getting something like this in a lot of jewelry. Now you would be lucky because this here is stamped sterling, but these are actually hair barrettes. So anything that's stamped sterling, is going to be a nice little bolo, but these are hair breaths and these sold for $122.50. So of course, these are going to be a nice little money item. You're going to want to list these separately, but this is not the typical item that you're going to probably find at a garage sale or a thrift store. But if you do definitely grab them because they're going to be a bolo item. Uh, okay. The next item this is called Kirk's Folly. Um, I have not found any Kirk's Folly that I can remember. So I wanted to uh, show you this here. Uh, let me see if I can zoom. I was trying to see if I could see the maker's mark. It's really hard to see. Um, there was actually two in a row here. Let me see if I can see it better on this one. Okay, this one is a little more visible. So it says it right here on the inside of the um, barrette. So these are actually barrettes and they say Kirk's Folly right there on the barrette. One went for 110 and one went for 202.50. So I'm guessing that this Kirk's Folly has a really good following. 
Um, yeah, I mean, they're jeweled. If you're, if you're watching or if you're listening and not watching, they kind of have some rhinestones and charms on them. They're kind of fancy. This one has the original box. I don't know. They say Kirk's Folly on them and they are high dollar hair brets. So if you see Kirk's Folly, definitely look for those. Now we are going to go into some more standard lower dollar bread and but butter brets that you're going to be more likely to find at the garage sales. But um, I wanted to share with you the sterling. Anytime you find sterling, definitely pick those up and this Kirk's Folly brand, because I did see those in my research. And the Kirk's Folly, I was not familiar with um, for Brett's. So definitely Bolo for those. Now this one I found interesting. It's called um, Janie and Jack. And it says Girls Vintage Butterfly Brett's. Um, honestly, like I looked at this and it looks like something you'd pick up at like Target or Walmart. I was not overly like blown away by this. Uh, it actually kind of surprised me. Uh, it says, okay, it says 2014. That is not vintage. Uh, it doesn't say, it does say vintage. So vintage, hmm wonder why they put vintage. Does it, is that maybe the style? Where are they getting vintage? Uh, maybe the seller's confused. I, maybe I'm confused. Janie and Jack. I don't know, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it sold for $28. This one has me definitely confused, but their little butterfly uh, Brett's. It had 16 bids. Let's dig a little deeper here. Eight different people were bidding on this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really confused. I'm going to go in and I'm going to look at no feedback was actually left on the item. So I don't know if they ended up paying or not. So I, I'm not sure on this one. That one is, I don't know why eight people, maybe eight people really needed butterfly, <laughs> butterfly uh, bows for their kids. Sometimes people just get lucky, but that one's a little odd to me. Okay, so this one makes sense. This is whole Courtney Love gold glitter heart plastic hair clip from the 90s. It's vintage. So I'm guessing this one probably did well because it has something to do with Courtney Love. Um, it's just a glitter, plastic, simple hair clip, you guys. It had 13 bids and it sold for $37 plus shipping. So um, I, I'm not sure how they know it has to do with Courtney Love unless they like Google lensed it or... Um, because there's nothing on it that says Courtney Love. Or maybe that's just something that is a standard logo for her or a branding. I don't know too much about Courtney Love. Maybe you guys do. If you could fill me in in the comments, that would be awesome. But either way, it sold for $37. So the next item, um, these vintage hair accessories. This is clips, brettes, ponytail hoarders. And these are new old stock. Okay, so these went for $51 with eight bids and um, the buyer paid shipping. So I will tell you what I think happened here is the thing that was driving the price up are these right here, these uh, twin bead. So these here in the middle are called twin bead. And these are a bolo. Also, items with the brand Goody have a tendency to do well. And these headbands are also Goody. Um, I think personally, I may have divided these up separately, put these together in a lot, put the twin beads together in a lot, or maybe even sold the, the twin beads separately. Um, even the Bretts. I don't know. I, I think I would have divided this up. However, 
you know, $51 for the lot isn't too bad. Oh, uh, it looks like they had, I also would have put everything in the first picture because the person looking at this probably assumed they were only getting these items and they were actually getting these items also. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you have put everything in the first picture? That's what I would have done. But um, that's just my opinion. So the next item is another lot. And I think it's the same seller and they did the same thing. So uh, definitely some very, very cool items. It looks like the seller came into some very, very cool items. This lot sold for $52. Again, I probably would have parted it out. Um, again, the Goody is a good brand. And I'll show you some more information on that. The Twin Beads are definitely a Bolo. And they are Goody brands. So that's also awesome. Um, I mean, I personally, I probably would have listed those for 15 or 20 bucks a piece just for the twin beads themselves. And I have uh, some of these I haven't seen before. So the Bretts can do well. I don't know what these dress up bows are. But yeah, I mean, people collect things like that. And the headbands, I'm not, yeah. I don't know. But uh, maybe the seller did the research and felt that this was the best way to go. $52 isn't bad. So definitely very cool. Um, I actually think it would be interesting. Let's go into see other items. And it looks like they've got a lot of uh, vintage, vintage items. So they probably know what they're doing. Uh, let's look here. They've got some cool stuff. Sometimes I just like to to nose around and see what else people are selling. It looks like they're due most of their items um, auction style. I mean, they have got some really cool stuff. And, you know, um, I look at this and I'm like, geez, I think they could have gotten more money for some of this stuff if they would have just done a buy it now and held out. Oh, look at that, you guys. Vinyl stick on puffy stickers, 1983, $179.49. So my hair accessory video just went, it just went wild. I just went off on a tangent. Here we go. Let's see what else they're selling. Oh, see, look at these puffy stickers. So that one went for $179. Just, oh, if they would have held out and just priced it higher. You know, you see what I'm saying right there, puffy stickers, just because these are unicorns. Oh, I totally, oh my goodness. Ah, I wonder maybe it was the brand. I don't know. Is anybody else intrigued? You guys are like, keep scrolling. If you're like me, you're like, keep scrolling. I'm going to. Oh my gosh, look at these. Soft and fluffy 3D stickers. And they're even Halloween, $9.99. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, here's more hair accessories. Those went for 40 Again, the twin beads. I feel like I want to like watch their store. Ah. $4. Ah. More puffy stickers. Those look so cool. Where do they get all this cool stuff? Does anybody else want to see what they have listed? Monster rings, $111. <gasps> oh my goodness. With the box they came in. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. 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 I wonder whose store this is. Like I'm going to know. Like I wonder if they're in my Bolo Buddies group. Do you guys ever wonder that? When you look at someone's store. $51. I think we looked at that one. Wow. They have really neat stuff. Moon goon people. I do have more hair things to show you guys. But right now, I just want to keep looking at this. Bike horn. Hmm. Watch the person like put in the comments, this is my store. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Maybe. Giraffe? Pencil pets. I don't know. They're like little like. I feel like some of the things could be like vintage dollar store items, which is kind of cool. Okay. Now that we've done that. Um, see sellers, other items. Okay. So they have 97 items listed. New old stock. Okay. Let me zoom. So a lot of these items are, I mean, there's a lot. It's all vintage. It's all vintage. It's crazy. Pretty cool, right? Flintstone stickers, 1977. That seems really cool to me. Huh. All right, you guys, I'm going to give you their store name. It is Devin7497. And they don't have an actual store. It's just Devin7497. If anybody wants to go check it out, I think you guys should. Okay. Um, Barrettes. Okay. So these are just like plastic hodgepodge, no matchy match, just miscellaneous Barrettes. You could find those at a garage sale, right? $26. Mm, excuse me. $26, five bids plus shipping. So I don't know. I found some Bretts at a garage sale the other weekend. I have them listed. We'll see how they do. Mine aren't these cute. Mine aren't these cute. Woo! It's after midnight, so I can't talk. <laughs> but anyway, <coughs> excuse me, $26 plus shipping on those. All right. So here's more of the goody twin beads. And it looks like the top of the packaging is like damaged or cut off or something. But these sold for $38.50 and um, 14 bids plus shipping on that one. Looks like there's 12 of them in there from 1999. Very cool. And when I was talking to you guys about the um, ones that I sold, I had a whole bunch of the twin beads. Mine were not new old stock. Mine were pre-owned, used up. Some of them, the elastic was like not in good condition and mine sold really, really well. So, um, definitely a Bolo item. Okay. I don't know what these are. They are single My Fa hair stick pins, but this is what they look like. So definitely keep your eye out for these things. I guess you just like stick them in your hair, like hair pins, $110 on those. Um, only one bid though. The next item, again, these could be goody brand, but they have um, these tortoise. This would be the tortoise shell print. 
and then just the standard plastic. But I also sold a bunch of these. Um, they do pretty well. Uh, they do range. It just depends. But this lot, not mine, sold for $43.53 with eight bids. So, yeah, I mean, definitely pretty crazy, right? It's not something that you would think would do well. And again, they do range. These are some of the, um, the tortoise ones are three inches. So those are some of the bigger ones. But something that is kind of looked at as not having any value that can definitely have some value. The next are these brown faux tortoise shell and it this is bakelite so i don't know i guess these could be bakelite but these sold for 29 dollars and it looks like the one is broken it's got a broken uh comb piece so again you stick these in your hair now it's got a little chip so maybe if these were in better condition, they would have gone for a little more, but definitely a cute little piece to keep your eyes open for. $29 plus shipping on those. Now this, this is something again that could come like in a lot of jewelry and you'll be like, what is it? And it looks like it's some sort of hair snod twisted wire net. And this says it's from the 40s. And I think I've gotten some of these things in some jewelry lots that I've had. I don't know if it's it, it, this exact item, but um, I've had some weird things show up in jewelry that are, I'm like, this does not look like jewelry. And I think they go in, in your hair, like over a bun or something like that. Um, I've yet to identify them. I think I just threw them back in the jewelry bag. So still trying to figure that out. But this is a hair snod and it sold for $21.50. And you can see it looks like some rhinestones are missing and still sold for $21.50. So, and it looks like the buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item, again, we've got a tortoise and a dark brown barrette. And these are from France. And these sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So again, that tortoise shell look seems to be a um, bolo item to look for. And the next item are these little crayons. Um, I also had a bunch of crayons in the lot I got. Again, if you go and check out that thrift battle, um, I was up against Donatella Bottolino, and that was on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. Um, I did win that battle and I am actually going back on for the thrift battle. Um, I'm battling it out again for the second round. And by the time this video posts, that will have already aired. So you guys can go check out that replay to see if I won. So um, I actually do that this Wednesday. So. Um, Again, this video will air after that. So go check out the replay to see if I won. Eek! I have no idea if I'm going to win or not. Um, it should be definitely interesting. So um, again, go check that out on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. Um, and if you want to see the whole lot of hair barrettes and vintage hair accessories that I had on the first thrift battle, you can check that out. That was in 2019 against Donatella Bottolino. All right. So these sold for $12.99 plus shipping. They're just little hair breads. And you can find these again at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores. So, and again, a lot of people just uh, pass them by. And I also want to talk to you about the Goody brand. I said I would bring that up again. Um, so a lot of times you can pick these things up, new old stock. Um, here's an example. These are like straightening hairbrushes. A lot of six went for $50 combs, the old combs, 15 of them went for 40 bucks. 
here's some uh hair clips went for 40 so these are all just auctions so I'm just going to kind of scroll through and you guys can kind of take a peek at some of the things like here's a comb new old stock that went for 20. So just some different things, but goody, goody, goody. Remember that brand. If you see it, it's worth looking up. If you can get it really treat, really cheap, I'd say just grab it. It's probably going to be a bread and butter item. Um, but sometimes you get lucky like this went for $12.99, these old um, clips, hair clips. Um, now, that could have been something that maybe you could have put a buy it now or best offer on and maybe got a little more out of it. Um, $8.75 shipping. I have no idea why it's so high. I, I'm guessing that's probably five or six ounces. I'm not sure why it's $8.75, but guess it just depends maybe on the location. Let's see where it's at. Arkansas, that's probably why, because um, Arkansas is kind of a higher shipping. Um, so yeah, you can see 1995. This is one of those picks and combs. So these items, um, if you can get them new old stock, people, they're, they're discontinued and uh, people love them. They've used them. They want them. There's broke. And they're like, I just want my comb or my brush that I've used my whole life. And they will, uh, they'll pay up. Well, I guess it's not even really paying up. Brushes and combs are pretty expensive anyway. So, but yeah, look at this old one. How funny is that? I mean, that was only four bucks, but. Or you could look at it as I'm not going to make a lot of money, but I'm going to Give somebody the comb that they really, really want. And, you know, like here, these only went for $1.99. But let's just say you could have listed that for $15 by an hour best offer. You know, this person chose to do an auction and only one person bid. So auction is not always the best um, choice. You know what I mean? Like this right here was not a good choice to do an auction at $2. This probably could have been $20 or best offer. So um, auction style, it, I always say start your auctions at what you want to get out of the item. Do not start your auctions super low because um, there's that chance that you're only going to get what you ask for it because there may not be two people that are looking for your item at in that seven days, you know, um, if it's a rare item, yeah, people are going to bid, but if it's just something that's ordinary or there's a lot of them on eBay, no, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Auctions just, um, aren't what they used to be. eBay used to be huge with auctions, but it's just not, it's just not like that anymore. So again, if it's a rare item and there's not a lot on eBay, then yeah, it's okay to take your chances. But if I do an auction, I start my auction at what I want to get for it. So if I was going to auction off those twin beads, I would start my auction at $14.99, $14.99 plus shipping. Now, if I was going to put it at a buy it now, I'd probably put it at $25 or best offer, and then I would run my sale. That's what I would do for that. So my auction, I'm putting it lower than I would for a buy it now, but I'm also telling myself, okay, I'm going to risk a little bit, but I'm also going to be okay if I only sell it for $14.99. So that's how I do it, guys. You do it how you want to do it, but I will tell you if you list it at $1.99, there's a chance you're going to sell it for $1.99. So I wouldn't do that. But um, all right. So hair accessories. That is a bolo that a lot of people um, pass by. Some are big money. Most are bread and butter. Um, some sell fast. Some take a long time to sell. But the good thing about them, they are very small. You can tuck them away in a small area and they can just sit and sit and sit until the right buyer comes along. So you're not really out a whole lot of space. 
um, easy to tuck away. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.